Oh, yeah, Shazam, like uh, like the little kid, the uh, power of Shazam! Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, the other, the other one, that's cool. Hey everybody, Tony Stiglitz here for the Technophiles Newscast. If you've ever been sitting in a bar and they've randomly played some one-hit wonder from the 90s, you've probably used the app Shazam to find out that, yeah, it actually was right, said Fred. Of course, Shazam is the listening app that's been helping people identify music since 2008. But now it's gonna be able to do more than just listen. Shazam will be able to identify objects using your phone's camera. To make this happen, Shazam has raised $30 million from unidentified billionaires and financial institutions and another $40 million from Mexican telecoms magnate Carlos Slim. Carlos Slim. That $70 million is mostly going towards staffing and development, but they're hoping once it's finished, it'll draw in advertisers. It'll work a lot like the current app, but instead of finding a song and having it take you to, say, the iTunes store, you'll take a picture of a product and it'll search for the relevant company website. If that sounds familiar, it's because it's very similar to a Google app called Google Goggles. Google goggles. Google goggles. Google goggles. Google goggles. One of us. One of us. That one. Yeah. So this is interesting because Google goggles was discontinued last year because Google said, and I quote, it was of no clear use to too many people. Essentially, people just weren't using it. Shazam is betting $70 million that they'll succeed where Google failed because the user experience should be so similar to what they're already doing, and they're valued at a billion dollars. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna use Shazam for more than just music? Let us know in the comments below or tweet us at TechnophilesPod. You can also find us on Facebook by searching Technophiles or go to our website, technophilespodcast.com. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Yeah. What? No. No, no. This is uh, this is that Britney Spears song. It's the new one. No, come on. Here. Look. See, it's uh, Dropkick Murphys. That's that was what I said. It's their new their new song. Yeah.